y'all hear me? Hello, hello. Well, if y'all can, want to say what's up, welcome to Raw. It's going to be me on the dolo this time. Pretty lonely experience. There, yeah, <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, it's just going to be me, no other commentators, Tim Dizzy, a Ross cool, but that's fine. It's nice, intimate Raw. Just me and the other player, you know, just going mono we mono. So, you know, Jacko decided to challenge me to Sarah first and take. So I'm like, his Sarah's been coming up lately. Like, he has better wall combos than me, and, you know, he does better combos than me a lot of times. So, I want to see, you know, how this match is going to go. So, he challenged me, and I accept. So, you know, we're about to get it started. So, so. yep. Go ahead and change the sound levels and get it started. Yo, Jacko. Hey, whenever you're ready, we can start it. Oh man, I got my stuff. On. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting I got these turtle beasts. They're so sensitive. Nah, that's cool. Yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah, we can start. All right, so yeah, we got to get it started. Three, two, one. Enjoy this, trust me. Ready? I assume you're ready. Round one! Ready? Go!
I assume you're ready. Let's see how many seconds you'll last. Are you ready for this? Round one. Ready, go! I assume you're ready. I'm no pushover, sweetie. Round one. Ready, go!
You'll never be a match for me. Alright y'all, let me give me one second see if I can get Tim in here. Yeah, crazy fight so far, and then yeah, I've been missing punishes. Right down. And I had to change costume because. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there in a second. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Perfect. It's pretty uh, loud too. With uh, just what is this? Just both of us? Uh, hold on one second. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Is that better? No, it's perfect. It's perfect. I think uh, the more people you have on Skype, the, the less you can hear. Yeah. Now it's now it's pretty much Tim showing up. <laughs> It's going good so far. I'm up 2-1, barely. Like, I just want to be hitting him with mix-ups. It's awesome. That's pretty much all that's been happening so far, so. But, yeah. Oh, cool. Right now. Oh, yeah. I had to switch costumes because <laughs> we were both rocking the B-Sarah costume. I'll show the video if I still got it on deck. <clears throat> um, and then y'all see what I'm talking about while we rocking the B-Sarah costume. It's, it's the inside joke and it shouldn't be. Everybody should know about VF Pachinko. But yeah, that's what it is. You know, we, were, we both wearing B Sarah costumes, but I got confused who I was, so it was like I had to change up. <laughs> so but is yeah. this the uh, is this the uh, the white women costumes? Are you battling for the wardrobe, or what's going on tonight? Ah, uh, you know, Jacko, you just challenged me to the first ten because like the one that was supposed to be around, the raw challenge was supposed to be around was canceled. It was like it's a good chance for him to test this Sarah. Out. Gotcha. That's cool. So, right now it's two one me. You know, he's been hitting me up with setups. I've been running the mix ups. So it's basically who, you know, stays on offense wins. <laughs> Whoever knocks the other person <laughs> down is gonna win. This That's is the final it is. showdown. True, true. It's like it's like, you know, Persona Four and Arena TA pretty much, or like some anime. Pretty much whoever gets knocked down wins. You gotta control the meaties on the side. If they stationary knockdown, wait for the uh, you know guard the mid, wait for the low. If they hit you minus three, easy uh, fuzzy there, and uh, you keep that going. You're golden. You know uh, sweeps into the buffered uh, you know switch kick. Anything you can get into that switch kick, you know, and get that stagger combos and uh, make sure you can link to your max damage combos. And that really hurts and it makes people freeze up. Yep. All right, so I guess I'll go ahead and get it started. Let me, let me take my mic off. Where's our good friend Bing Cosby? He didn't show up. He ain't show up. Oh, Bing Crosby. Shame on you. Let me see if I can call him again. But we'll see. I doubt it though. No who we got up? Uh, who, do we, who we got up in the uh, the Twitch box tonight? I don't have anything uh, on, on me right now. Don't see. We got 11 people. I see Steel Bears. See Napster. Give some shout outs to those people for coming. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Kamice SDS. Yeah, yeah, we got a few names. Even like uh, Rodney, he was trying to get in a, a match, but he came a little late. So gotcha. I didn't set anything up for him. But yeah, I can't really call him right now. But yeah, I'll just get back to the match. So, okay, sounds good. Doing the dolo. I'll try. I'll try to do my best. <laughs> All right, dude. All right, Black Star versus Jacko RCB in a match for the millennia, ladies and gentlemen. We have our Sarah versus Sarah from the white women of the world. Let's go ahead and get this started. And anybody out there that loves to jump on Skype with me, just kind of do a little chit chat. Definitely uh, welcome. Just uh, hit us up, hit Black Star up with an email or what. Here we go. I am catching up here, so I don't know what the momentum left off at was. No we got new costumes, I suppose. That's what he was talking about last time. I'm no pushover, sweetie. X Jerry from Jeffrey Player, gone. Ready, Woman. Go. See what happens. PK positive in the combo. Minus six, no throw, went for the sweep. Got a switch kick, positive. Minus six, throw escape again. Foot sweep, counter hit, positive. Full circular high, hit throw. 
Flamingo. Oh, I guess he was trying to go for the uh, catch throw. Oh, no, six. A little bit of lag punch. Uh, oh. Ooh, there, that's minus five into that low. Didn't care. Did not respect that. Going for the storm combination. Knockdown. Flamingo escape. Overhead. Miss. Going for the side turn. Counter hit. Three feet. Up. Oh, high miss. Positive. Knee's supposed to be everything. Doesn't. KP. Waiting for the counter hit. Waiting for the other counter hit. Three PK. Sweep. Flamingo cancel. Low kick hit. Sweep. Oh, overhead axe kick, minus nine. Oh, waited too long, got the overhead. Neat Taku, not punish. Back turn kick, low kick, counter hit. Did not act, wait for the horse kick. Four, with hit throw is gone. PK, nope. Evaded it, got the KP combo. Where's the wake up? Oh, the four to four kick didn't work. Counter hit, waited, stalled, got the hit throw. Oh, got the flamingo entry, but the mid kick was too big. Oh, Gatlin throw, missed. Wake up, head first. Nope, back roll, got out. Positive knee, P throw. Oh, he acted on it. Good. He got the low rising and the counter hit and acted on it. Good. Elbow delay. Positive. Went for low. Dragon Smash Cannon whiffed and punished with the Valkyrie. Ooh, counter hit the throw. 3K miss. Low punch. Low punch to throw. Is he respecting him? Ah. Minus six. Yep. 3PK combo. Oh. He missed his meaty. But he still came out on top of the next one. Now, I don't know exactly what's going on here. If he's going to take a break, come in and commentate a little bit, or if he's going straight through or not. We'll find out in one second here. So I guess what Blackstar said, this is 3 up, so we'll see what happens. 4 to 4k, goes to Valkyrie, miss, Dragon Smash Cannon, miss, low punch, counter hit elbow into Serpent Smash Cannon, gets the combo, does the delay, going for the hit throw, Serpent Smash Cannon got it again on the opposite side, lazy, does not tech roll, gets the pounce, goes for the uh, back kick from Flamingo to get the uh, wall stagger, misses, 3 PK, 3 PK, miss, miss, ah, Gatlin throw, miss, gets the throw on whip. Last hit, it's gonna be low or high? Low or high? What's gonna be? Waiting for it. Ah, leg slicer, no counter hit. Recovery is a little bit slow on that one. Storm combination out of Jacko. Gets hit by the axe kick. Knee. Throw plus minus six. KP does not work. Three PK does not work in the throw. Ah, he gets the plus. And reset. And the hit throw. Three PK, positive to throw, doesn't work. Gatlin throw, miss, three PK hits. Storm combination, two force. It's a full circular, back turn, options, flip. Does not get the recovery in time. Everyone wants KP. Where's the wake up? Where's the wake up, Black Star? Low sweep into ah back KG, back PK. Sorry, gets the throw, and that's game. A little bit slow move to get that positive recovery. 
It's gonna be here. Ah, KP wins. Gets that. Big combo. Where's the wake up? We're waiting for it. Ah, beats it with 9k. Gets the combo. Follow up. Oh, nice. For tech roll, he gets the back P plus K and it picks up on tech. I guess he was not guarding there. Storm combination block. No punishment. Elbow. P to throw. Wake up. Looks like Blackstar likes to get that uh, 4K buffer into the forward kick. Misses with the Valkyrie. Misses with the forward forward kick. Ah, gets the Gatlin throw on tech. And that's it. So it looks like Blackstar is up. I guess that's 4-0 because he said originally there was two, so he won the last one in this one. I'll have to confirm with him when he gets back here. Better run home to Mama now. Four to zero. Let's see what happens. Can Jacko actually step this up a little bit and take it away from Blackstar? We shall see. Oh, costume change. Let the white women rule here. Oh goodness. There we go. Four four kick. Four four kg. Sorry. KP misses. Three PK. Sweep into. Ah, trying to buffer into the meaty. Punish, punish with uh, elbow knee, storm combination with knee, P ah, nope, KP works, hit, oh he backdashes, he misses his opportunity, had the counter hit on the low hit on rising, KP works, counter hit, big combo, where's the wake up, what's gonna be, mid? Low, counter hit, he does not do anything. KP works, switch, this is the combo. Ah, spin around 2K, uh, 2PK, gets the... Uh... Okay, yeah, betting with the leg slice at the very end. Not a really good thing. Back turn, back down kick, hits with the kick, misses with the hit throw. Does not get the hit throw. Going for the PK into the positive. Gets the full circular. So I went around, got counter hit. He did low punch, whiffs. Up KG, gets the full combo. Oh, ah, oh, could have Dragon Smash cannon that, but he chose to do the forward kick kick. And back dash for a Dragon Smash cannon, but didn't work. I've got grace and power. You've got so that's one up for Jacko. Looks like Blackstar is trying to experiment a little with uh, some of the other moves right now, but whatever works, use it. If it doesn't <laughs> don't fix it if it doesn't work. Just keep doing the same thing until your opponent learns exactly how to deal with that. So right now we stand at four one. Blackstar in the lead. Jack on the comeback. See a little gap in the. Uh, Dragon's armor. Can he come back? I assume you're ready. Oh, I'm ready. Are you ready, white woman? I'll push you over and roll you over. Back there. Let's do this. Four four kick always leading with this. Does not hit. Just throw. Positive into the full circular high. Misses the uh, crumple hit kick. Two thirds. Storm combination. This storm combination craziness and disadvantage to and guess. P throw evade. Does not get the stagger combo for the wall. Three PK hits. Ah, gets the shenanigans. And 
flag to our kid. Positive, high. KP does not work. Low punch minus five. Evades it. Good. Gotta learn how to block that, that string with that low first. Ah, wait for the delayed knee. Get the laziness for the OTG. Hits, counter hits, does not do anything. Punish that 15. No, six. And throws. Stop playing moral, Black Star. This is not via four. Storm combination works. Kick. Oh! Get the two PK with the counter hit on Evade. Kick. Valkyrie negative. Loses a ton of damage here. Oh! And he keeps going after Valkyrie. Got to get that counter hit for Valkyrie to be positive. Otherwise, you're betting on nothing. Oh. Switch kick hits, get the full circular high. Always going after this flamingo forward kick to beat all the options. Except for evade. Whiffs 9k. KP blocked. Punch punch. Positive. Dragon smash cannon hits. Lazy does not tech. Gets the low sweep descending. And gets the uh, 2k, 2pk out of flamingo. That back KGG cancel into two PK for evaders. Try again in a few years. And that is Jacko up another one. Are we seeing a comeback here? Four to two, B Star still on the lead. Jack on the climb back up. Hopefully, we're gonna see a change here. We got a good match going on. A little bit of adapting. Let's see how many seconds you'll last. In a decent stage here. Ready for this? Definitely not you'll the Taco Bell this. box of the Trust cheddar, nacho cheese, or Cool Ranch Dorito Ready? silliness. Four four K always leads with this. Gets the throw. Hops over the hot low. Dragon Smash Cannon does not punish. KP does not work. Minus five attack. Sabaki for low punch. Misses the combo. Goes after the back kick. Gets Catlin throw. Goes the wake up. Gets a low sweep. Looks like he was trying to come out with the 9K. Three PK hits. Step stance, 3 PP. Woo! Getting the good meaties, good stuff. Oh, he missed it. Oh, no! Positive. Flip kick beats it. 9K wins. Dragon Smash Cannon whiffs. Throw, plus six, four. Positive. Gets the full combo. Where's the wake up? What's gonna be? Low kick counter hit. Delay, punish, punish with elbow knee, elbow back kick, oh, goes for the 2pk on Flamingo, 3pk hit, gets the 3pk out of the stance, 3pp, sorry, and takes the round. Blackstar up now 5 to 2. You'll never be a match for me. Hey, uh, to the just, it's 5 3. 5 3 now? Oh, yep. I'm sorry. All right. So what's going on? What's going on through you guys' heads right now? What's going on with your head? Man, what's going on in my head is like, uh, it's like, it's, it's whoever gets the first touch and keeps the momentum going wins. That's like what yeah. this air game is about. Like, if you get knocked down, like you're in a world of trouble. We were talking about the knee. That's like two thirds of your life gone in an instant. Yeah. It's like, yeah. But I find if I'm more aggressive. I'm more able to pull out a win, so that's what I need. I just need to fight my blocking nature. 
Yeah. Well, that'll... Oh. Alright. I'd like to take this time out to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, on the Twitch boards uh, for coming in tonight and spending your uh, free time with us. We do appreciate it. Remember to uh, tip your uh, waiters and waitresses. Thanks. KP misses. That's blocked. Oh, Valkyrie counter hit. Mid kick. To the hit throw. Jacko on board. Full cir ah, mid circular does not hit. Oh, he's going nuts. He's just like a carousel here. Just throwing things out here. Active frame to active frame. Storm combination, two thirds to something. Low punch, elbow, axe kick, full combo. Switch kick to premature. Oh, he's backing off. Back turn, low sweep. Punch, flip kick. Did we lose Jacko? This connection go. Oh no, he's, he's still there. Now we're playing Tekken. Is this the electric wind got this back dash cancel? Oh, we've lost the connection. And I can't announce anymore. Oh, thank you, Bill Gates, for my contribution of $50, $60 every year to kick me out of one time we need to announce for people that are watching on the show to promote our virtual fighting. Thank you very much. Well, while we're waiting, just like to thank you people once again for coming out tonight. Also, like to remind you that there is the BF Invitational. If you would like to be a mentor or a student, please email Blackstar or myself. And we would love to have you guys on board to uh, help promote with uh, the dying virtual fighting that's going on in the last uh, year or so. You know, kind of pump it up a little bit and take away the boogeyman of uh, what people think about virtual fighter when they first see it or when they come on board and just get owned. You know, all you guys out there listening right now, I know you vets, you know, uh, spend a little time with these guys, you know. It's going to help uh, blossom uh, in the future. Alrighty. Hopefully as soon as this match is over with, we'll be able to get back to the next one. You'll never be a match for me. Okay, here we go. I have no idea who won that one because I got kicked out, so I'll have to wait until he comes back. Hey, hello? Yeah, what happened with that one? I got kicked out. Who won that uh, last yeah, one? Oh, kicked out? Oh, I won the last one. Okay, cool. Gotcha. So it's 6-3. Six, 6-3. Three. Six, three. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah, all right. I want to see some uh, foot sweeps to some buffered switch kicks. Let's we'll see some staggers yeah. into some combos, buddy. Yeah, if you don't come up with a rising kick, yeah. <laughs> Get to it. Hoo -ah. You know what Jack Burton always says that I'm not like this. You grab them by their head, you look them in the face, you say, yes, sir, the check's in the mail. Ready, go! All right, here we go. Dashes up and throws him. No respect whatsoever. Recovers to another throw. What is going to happen here? He's waiting for 9K to a ring out. Wow. Jackal basically just saying there is no droids here. There is no droids here. The mental prowessness of the Jacko. Craziness. Loves the storm combination. P throw. Minus 6. KP does not work. He does get the 3 PK. Into a combo. Jumps. Jumps backwards. KP does not work. Low kick. Negative on Valkyrie. And he's stalling. He's just making him turn into a statue. Gets the combo. Oh! Switch kick, switch kick. Frozen again. What's gonna happen here? This is crazy. 3pp does not hit. And he stalls. He gets hit by the counter punch. 9k hits. Gets the combo. Jumps back. Oh! Mid rising hit. Gets the combo. 4 PK. Axe kick does not hit. Does not throw escape. Tech rolls. Gets him thrown again. Yeah, take that. Four. Ready, go. 4 4 kick. Or 4 4 KG. Sorry. Hits. Counter hits. Going for storm combination into something funky. Negative into the throw. Getting on the stall. 3K. Minus 5. Does not fuzzy guard. Goes for the low. Oh, wrong punishment there. P 
plus K, full circular hit. Does not get the uh, mid kick out of Flamingo. It's like a carousel of craziness going around and around and around and around. Three PK hits. Three out of three PP out of step gets the full combo. Nine K does not hit. KP does not work. Minus five punch. Sabaki misses the combo. Elbow minus six. Three PK gets blocked. Low sweep. Does not tech. Smart gets hit. Light slicer still. Oh, nine K beats it. Full circular. Pounce. Three PK does not work. KP does not work. Going for low punch all the time. All right, goes into switch kick, but gets leg slicer, counter hit, and combo game over. You'll never be a match for me. Seven, two, three. Three more to go, and this set is over with. Yeah, if anybody's out there right now likes to jump on Skype, give us a call. We'll get you in the uh, Skype chat here. I'd like to have a couple friendly voices. If you're new, old, uh, if from a different planet, hey, even if you want to talk about uh, Turkey for Thanksgiving coming up, just uh, holler. Hey, Tim. Yeah, what's up? Let me redo the call. I'm going to hang okay, up real quick. Right. So just call back. Well, just answer the phone when I call back. Okay. Okay. Back on. Ready, All right, cool. Go. Here we go. Jack with the 9K gets the combo. Waits for it in Flamingo. Gets hit out of the back step. KP works. Axe kick and a hit throw. This is the rising, gets 9k again. Flip kick. And gets light down attack and wins the round. Black Star with the backpack kick to the horse kick. P plus K goes for the low sweep, gets interrupted. KP gets blocked. 3 KP hits, evades. Valkyrie, negative. KP going for KP, 3 PK, evades. Gets a low hit kick, mid kick does not crumple. K, K hits, but no KP. Hit throw from Black Star. X kick, evade. Knee, elbow knee for the win. Back K. Oh, X kick hit. Full circular combo there. 9K from the low rising. Careful. It's a hit throw. Light down attack for the excellent. Jacko is definitely saying no, he wants to come back here. Four. Ready, go! Four, four kick. Knockdown. Back jump. Dragon Smash can does not work. Gets a pick up Valkyrie for not tech rolling. Mid, mid kick does not crumple. Gets the surface smash cannon. Still on Flamingo. Oh, it gets the mid kick crumple on wake up. Waiting for him to twitch. That's Jacko up another one. Four. Four to seven. Try again in a few years. Is that supposed to be Ada Wong? I guess it is. I don't know. <laughs> what a name from Resident Evil. Ada Wong really leaves the uh, imagination wide open there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Let's step it up. Let's put some NL2 in your uh, tanks, dear buddy. June's raft stage where all the drinking goes down and white women are available. Low sweep. Gets the throw for wake up. Jump. Empty jump. KP. And ring out. He is no lie. He is just waiting for opportunity to get the ring out. He's spacing and he's doing a great job of doing this. Round two. Ready. Go. 
3 KP, hit, punch, back step, punch, elbow, block. DPK hit, hold circular, pounce for no tech, hit the low sweep descending, minus six, flip kick, does not care. Sweep, does not tech, hit, throw with, counter hit, throw, fuzzy, hit throw. KP block, goes for low punch right away, low kick hits, counter hits, goes into Flamingo, KP misses, counter hit kick, punch, Baki, low punch, P plus K, KP block, 3 PK block with positive, no, no action. Ah, low kick, 9K, beats it. Does a 3K stance, select, stops, and goes for the punch. Elbow, counter hit, nothing. Low punch, flamingo, minus six, 3PK, positive, punch, elbow, backdash, switch kick, KP blocked, low punch, counter hit, and throw. Wake up, low kick. Oh. KP blocked, low sweep. Oh, 3K, ah, 3K minus five in the elbow. Does not care. I do not, I do not expect him anymore, sir. Board board kick. Flamingo, KP. 3 PK hits, counter hits. Getting closer to the ring edge. Oh, hits! Long range Reed Richards. 4 4 KG hits, 9K hits. Full combo. Low hit kits. Ah, yep. Does a double knee. Does not get the full combo on it. Does this cost him the game here? What's it gonna be? Low high, low high, low high. Ah! And descending low kick. What a big risk bet. And Ada Wong takes another one. Better run home to mama now. <laughs> no pun intended. Seven to five. I am confused. Who is owning who is the master and who is the masher? I don't understand these these things in front of me in my eyes. They're deceiving me. They're telling me illusions of David Copperfield's grandeurs. Who is going to win? Cool Ranch Dorito Taco Bell box. Here we go. Playboy Bunny, backpack K from Black Star, goes into the throw, says, you're not gonna duck on wake up. Mid kick hits, goes into double knee, gets three PK, evades it. Storm combination into the wall. Still on Flamingo, low kick hits. Nope, wall attack does not hit. P plus K, gets hit from back. Four four kick, axe kick, block, block. Gets the Flamingo back kick into the wall combo. Misses the wall attack. Still gets something. Counter hit kick for Rising. Single knee on Rising. Counter hit kick. Drag smash can block. Goes to PK around punishment. Storm combination into trying to go for a hit throw from Flamingo. 3 PK. Up, oh, waits for the fail of A, gets the hit throw. With low rising, plus four, does not do anything with it. Axe kick combo and game. Back K trying to go into the dust frame three hitter. Punch elbow, punch elbow, dragon smash cannon. Not gonna wait for that, no damage. Hits plus three, goes for low sweep. Flamingo fake. Blocks and low. Punch elbow, punch elbow to throw. Light down attack whiff, punch, back turn, back, back K, back turn. And that's the game. Ugh. Back back K, down K. 
Elbow, punch, elbow, punch. We're seeing this the same. KP beats that option. Misses the combo. Misses the mid-rising. Misses 9k. Minus 6. K plus P. Low punch counter hit to throw. 4. Ah, evades it and KPs it. Dragon Smash Cannon. Can he come back? Lazy, no tech roll. 9k and he wins it. He's afraid to get thrown, probably. Back K, Flamingo, hit throw. Counter hit, low punch. And hit throw. Counter hit, waits too long. Escapes. Oh no. Oh. A lot of lag going on here. Ugh. Thank you, Mr. Gates. Thank you, U.S. government. And now we're going back to second. 9K to flip, to bounce. Low punch from side. And Blackstar takes that one. We remind you, ladies and gentlemen, this evening, when you drive home, you know, friends say... That should count, because that was... That was <laughs> bad. I don't know what happened here. Hold on one second. Friends don't let friends use lag. Yellow Jackal. No, let it roll, man. Let it roll. Yeah, let it roll. 85. Okay. Hey, guys, remember to turn off your porn torrents, please. Thank you. Last time on Sarah versus Sarah. Did Sarah win or did Sarah lose? Find out. I'd like to give a big shout out to Cosby for not showing up. Thank you very much, sir. We do appreciate that here. <laughs> Oh, Bing, we love you. Here we go. Round one. Ready, go! Storm combination, low punch counter hit to throw. Where's the wake up for Jacko? Block the punch. KP waiting for that all the time for Black Star's onsault of punch to elbow, punch to elbow. Mid kick rising. Gets smoked by 9K. KP does not work. Low punch. 3 PK. Hits the throw. Gotta mix that up, man. He knows what's going on right there. He has an answer for that. 3 PK. Knee. Punch. Throw. Trying to trying to really get that lockdown to punch throw. You gotta watch out for that. Low sweep. Going for low sweep again. Poison style. 9K. Elbow. Punch. Punch. Throw. Ah, minus 6. 3 PK. Low speed counter hit. Gets it. Gets the meaty switch kick. Wall combo. Wake up. What's going to be? Misses the forward forward kick. Gets the side throw. Light down attack. Nope. Jumps back. Gives him a little opportunity. Gets him with the forward forward KG for the whiff. Valkyrie whiff. Back back K, low sweep blocked, storm combination blocked, no punishment. 4-4 K gets hit by down back kick, flip kick, counter hit. Up KG, misses. Full circular. Low kick, sweep. 4K PK, dragon smash cannon, elbow knee. Elbow, counter hit, throw, no, punch. 3PK hit, Valkyrie negative, 3PK. It's full circular combo, jumps in, empty, misses it. 
Gets the mid rising to the 9k combo. Goes for throw, whiffs. P plus K, P plus K. 3pk ends it. Yep, went for elbow minus 5 and came in with the 3pk. Storm combination hits, goes into a fake flamingo. Sweep, no tech roll. Misses the low rising, gets hit. 9k does not hit. Single knee hits. Flamingo 2pk whiffs. Goes for the fake. 4k whiffs. Fell evade throw. Big kick hit. Gets the four. Yeah, waits for the actual slide combination for Sabaki. Doesn't do it, but actually gets follow up combo. There we go. Jacko is up now. Six to seven. It's coming close. Is this round going to be a tie for match seven? Or will Blackstar be able to pull ahead with eight? I'm thinking that Jacko right now is starting to read him a little bit with these uh, P-elbow, P-elbows, and getting the three PKs and counter hits. Waiting for the three PK and not really watching the Valkyrie, but still going for it. I think Blackstar needs to bet on bigger damage and combos at this point. Oh, we got a trade-off. Low punch, elbow. Still going for this, this poke of prod. Gotta watch it a little more. Low kick hits, goes for the punch to throw. Freezes up. Wake up. This is low rising. Minus six. Dragon Smash Cannon finally hits from the situation. Full circular. Minus six. It's leg slicer. And that's game. Storm combination again, hits. Goes into the KGG. KP does not hit. Counter hit, low sweep. Minus, ah, too big, elbow knee. Minus 10, minus 15. Elbow does not hit, don't know why, probably lag. Light down attack doesn't hit. Get him in the stall after this. Uh, low rising attack, punch to throw. Dragon smash cannon whiffs, in the throw. Minus five, <laughs> minus five into punch, no respect. Probably did something pretty big. Low sweep, tech roll, 9k hit. Full circular, empty jump, misses it, 9k hit. What a great setup, and that's ring out. Gotta be really careful of that one. It's a nice trap. Axe kick, yeah, axe kick whips the throw. Light down attack. Low punch, minus five to punch. Six PP, Dragon Smash Cannon, three PK. Punch, three PK. Whips, KP. Full combo not available. Full separately. KP hit. What's it gonna be? Three PK gets beat by Sweet. Switch kick. Prodding away. KP beats everything. Gets the hit throw. KG beats it. The rising, and that is, ooh, that is game. We got a match here. We got a tie match. Seven to seven. We need to have that seventh inning stretch right now for uh, Blackstar to take a drink of that Gatorade. Brought to you by Gatorade. When you're down and out and you need to come back up in your first to ten, Gatorade will be able to quench your mind. Now back to you, Tim. Hey, what's going on? So, we're in the match eight. And I think that, you know, he's really hot and heated. He's like, well, wait a minute. I was I was up here for a second. Now he's starting to read me, read me you know, like Jordan LaForge from Reading Rainbow. It's time for me to kind of step it up a little bit. Got a Use some different tools, maybe not the P elbow all the time to get counter hit. Did use the lay, uh, dragon, uh, dragon uh, leg slicer for the counter hit in certain situations. Got the side turned uh, dragon smash cannon. Did not punish for the serpent smash cannon though. Let's 
see what happens. Round one. Ready? Go! Oh, storm combo gets destroyed. Full circular. Takes the punishment. D. 9K whiffs. Low punch. Go for some swing cannon. Oh, nope. Just bulldozes him. Does not care anymore. He wants the win. Spells the blood. T. KP does not work. Sweeps. Sweeps again. Conditioning. 9K recovery. Surf smash can 3 PK. It's full circular. Hit throw does not work. Does not get the mid kicks. Yeah. Ooh. Switch kick counter hit. Ah, there we go. Full circular. Nice. Double evade. Does not get the full combo. Went after a setup. Should have launched. The recovery is huge. Oh, misses with the Flamingo 2 PK for the ass kick. Dragon Smash can punish KP. Low punch, counter hit, punch, minus six. Dashes in throw, loses his advantage, but still gets the throw. No respect. Counter hit kick, low sweep. Low sweep, gets, oh man. It's almost game there. And the laziness for no tech. Punishes the sweep perfectly. Four four kick whiffs, gets the throw, recovery. Where's the setup? 9K misses, KP misses. 3 PK, KP does not work. We're still going back into this punch elbow stuff. 3 KK, 3 PK, low punch, minus six. Sweep, counter hit. Ah, did the positive delay into the other two. Boom, positive, bing, boom. Yep. Low sweep counter hit. Oh, descending uppercut for the full combo. No tech roll. Gets the pounce, KP. Low punch, minus five, three PK, minus six. Dashes in again. You lose your advantage when you dash in. Misses, leg slicer. Gets the follow up, and that's match. Jacko takes the lead. few years. Who is going to take the penthouse with all the white women? It looks like Jacko wants it more. Hey. Can Blackstar catch up at this point? I don't know. He needs to get that, uh, that, that eye of the tiger in him. He has to, you know, Get that inner Ralph Macchio. Can he pull it off? I have faith in him. He can do it. I got my Canadian maple dollars on him. Bottom of the eighth. Can Jekyll pull it off? AKG hits, full combo. Throw with, Dragon Smash Cannon Punish. P plus K, oh! Beats. Full circular beats it. Counter hit, yeah, there we go. Switch kick into the mid kick crumple. Low punch, overhead kick, boom boom. Going for the shuffle stuff. KP, nope. 3 PK hits, gets his combo. Switch kick. Stalls in the low rising. 9K, oh, goes for the flip, misses it. X kick misses. Leg slicer combo. Wake up. 3 KP, no, gets the Dragon Smash cannon from the stall. Hit throw, what's gonna be? Oh, low punch. Oh, just frame three hitter, the flip kick. Four four KG hits. Tech roll to throw. No respect. Nine K beats the low. Blade circular. Minus six evades. Drag smash cannon. PPK does not punish it. Doesn't know why. I don't know why. 
Wow, Blackstar coming back with a vengeance. He wants this title. Eight to eight. You'll never be a match for me. Wow, regardless of the lag, the force is strong with this one. Woo! -hoo. <laughs> Two matches to go. Who is going to be the winner? I don't know. It's kind of creepy talking to myself, but I'm trying here. So ladies and gentlemen, give me a little bit of uh, slack. I'll try to give you a little bit of a... Uh, Good uh, commentating tonight. Me, myself, and I. Brought to you by PlayStation 4. When you don't need a system and it will depress you, buy a PlayStation 4. Back to you, VF. Alright, there's Bison Surfboard up you there. Don't know why Jeffrey has it. Me. Kitty Cat versus... Ready? Let's see how many seconds you'll last. I don't know who this Are is. Blue Rose this? Betty. Round one. Ready, go! For all the marbles. 3KK does not get the step 3PP. KP hits. Goes in the shuffle. Stalls, waits, throws. Gets a 9K for wake up. Shackles means business. 3K up. Elbow does not hit. And he takes the excellent. Stuffed animal talks in foreign language. Storm combination again. Waits for the low punch. 3PK. Counter hit kick. Taunts him back. Gets the combo. Gets the hit throw. Light down attack. Waiting for a tech and electric wind god fist. 9K misses. Goes into that. Oh, low sweep block. Does not do that. Not enough for Dragon Smash Cannon. And gets the 4PK on tech roll. There's Sir Bison Surfboard. Look at that thing. Awesome. Low sweep, counter hit, low sweep again. Counter hit to low sweep. Taunts him back, gets the low kick. Whips the Serpent Smash Cannon, goes for the KP immediately. Minus five, doesn't care, too many guards. This is a statue, statued off. Into the throw. Sweet pain, hits, counter hit. Low kick block. Leg slicer combo, and two. No, misses the large pounce into a full combo. Low, high, low, high, low, high. Blah, 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 blah. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna do it? Four point kick. Oh, descending uppercut. Looks like Jacko likes to really bet on these situations for this empty or non empty. Smart choice. Flip kick, back turned. Dragon Smash cannon block. 3PK punish. Punch. Just frame does not work. Gets him with the rising knee. Leg slicer. Combo. 3K, K, 3 second part hits. Go straight into the combo with a full circular. Got to block it to get minus 13. Can't evade there. Mm -mm -mm. Duck or block. 9K whiff. Low sweep punished. 9K beats it. Full combo. 4P plus K, minus 6. Sweep again. Light down attack for Blaze there. 9K, 3PK. Just frame here does not work. Sweep. Knock down again. 4-4 four, four kick. Ascending roundhouse. Foot sweep, sorry. 9K does not work. Goes into Flamingo stance. Low kick. 4 PK again. And he takes it. Try again in a few years. <laughs> Miss Kitty wants to protect her, uh, her brothel, it looks like, for all the white women. 9 to 8. Can he take it here? Or will it go down to the wire? We shall see. We shall see. This is one for all the marbles. KP does not work. Foot sweep into large pounce. Goes into the descending. Oh, he's just taking that descending low kick into the pounce. 4-4 four, four kick. Does not care. Sweep. 
Crumble kick misses. Low. Ah, 3 PK. This is combo. Not taking it. Light down attack. This is the Y. Ah, misses the mid rising. It's right out of range of 4 4 kick punishment on recovery frame. Good spacing. Jumping around, little Street Fighter playing footsies here. Playing some shenanigans within the Flamingo realm. Getting those circulars going. Ah, jumps right over Oki. Uda Mawari. Low punch, high punch, counter hit the throw. Where's the wake up? 3K. Counter hit elbow. Minus six. Dragon Smash Cannon. And he takes it? He takes it. Low sweep, whip, KP, recovery. Gets the full combo, half life. Ugh. 9K. Does not get it on recovery. Don't know why. Side turn PPP. Low sweep. Counter hit. <laughs> Track. Just frame three hitter. Gets the full combo. Wait for recovery. 9K. Does not work. Hits. Delays. KP. Hits sweep. No light down attack. Blocks it. Elbow punch. And elbow, elbow. The patent in the B and B of Black Star. Can he take it here? Axe kick. Decent combo. No tech roll. Large pound. 9K. Does not get it in any way. Saw that again. This is rising. Gets the 9K. We've seen this three or four times tonight. Gets the flip kick counter hit. 9K hit. Full circular. Ah, backdashes and twitches. Can he take it here? Four four kick whiffs. Low sweep whiffs. No punishment. Let's throw. Three K. Three P. Key throw minus six. Low sweep. Flamingo cancel. Counter hit. Wait. Sweep pain. Does not beat nine K. Serpent Smash Cannon, Valkyrie combo, misses it. 4-4 four, four kick misses, gets the throw. Play it smart. 9k does not work, low punch, KP does not work. 3pk works. Switch kick, light down attack. Misses the... Oh! Got to jump for it again, that mid-rising of the 4-4 four, four kick recovery punishment. Woo! You'll never be a match for me. Well, this has been a crazy Thunder River ride, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know exactly what's going on in these two contenders' minds this evening, but it's all for your enjoyment. Love it. The next one is for definitely the marbles. These motherfuckers right now are probably trying to get their Ayatsu, get their, their inner Goku. You know, got to do whatever you got to do. Throw sand in your eye, gum in your ear, punch you in the throat. This is this is this is where it comes down to right now. The dirtiness. I expect to see the Jacko uh, empty jumps to the descending kicks and the flamingo craziness, the three ring circus. I hope Black Star beefs it up a little bit and gets away from the punch elbow thing. It's getting eat, eaten alive by these three Let's PKs see and these how many KPs. You'll last. Are you ready for this? No Kitty Cat versus uh, Nurse Do You a lot. All right, here we go. Oh, three KK, six KK. Sorry, hits axe kick combo. This is the rising once again. He's doing too many risings. Gets the punishment. Throw whip. PK in the up kick. That's excellent. Forward, forward, KG, squeeze block, gets the punishment, full combo. Oh, back, back, P, down kick, punishment, KP does not work, Dragon Smash Cannon, no punishment, gets the throw, and it hits, 3 PK, full circular, does not punish, 3 KK finish, 3 K, 3 K cancel, continue. K 
AP counter hit. Full combo hit throw. Wake up. 9K does not work. Sweet punishment. Jump back. 4 4 kick whip. X kick whip. Back at you. Counter hit below sweep. Low kick counter hit low sweep. 3 KP. Knee. KP. 3 PK. 6 PP. Takes the round. He says this is not over by a long shot. Back dash, 3 PK whiffs. Valkyrie block, low punch block. 3 PK lock, little slow sweep. Minus six, counter hit punch, throw. Face down, head towards. Low sweep, elbow, minus six, sweep. Light down attack, counter hit while rising. Does not tech, gets the pound. Full circular gonna be 9k p 9k hit light down tech and he takes it no tech and that is game i've got grace and power you've got zip oh nurse do you a lot we love you all right I think our two contenders are going to be back here in a minute to do a post interview on how they feel and what they could have did better. And uh, I'll be right with you. I, for one, enjoyed the match. Hope you guys enjoyed the match tonight. Thanks for uh, coming out. Remember to tip your waiters and waitresses before you leave. Oh, I'm so mad at that. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Well, you know, let's let's. Uh, Let's wait till he gets in here. We can recap on a couple things. I, I did see some stuff. I don't know if it's uh, true or not, but you did like a uh, successful evade and try to punish with the Serpent Smash Cannon. Don't know if the recovery frames were available or it was just latency. There was two times that I saw that. But, now, now repeat that. What happened? Uh, you evaded uh, one particular move and you tried to punish with uh, Serpent Smash Cannon, but he blocked. And I, I yeah. think if I look back, it was maybe a 9K or something. You know, you know. Yeah, it was like a 9K. And then I sidestep it because it's like yeah. 50 frames animation or something. And it was like, I figure I get that for free. Yeah. I just had it much. so ingrained in me to do it, but it just got blocked twice. And I kept doing stuff like that. And I was missing certain punishes. But man, I know there was a couple of times I got robbed. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> like, <laughs> there was, okay, when it was like 9 8 or something like that. And I was up yeah. two rounds. It was like two rounds of one, and I had him knocked down. He was next to the corner, and then, you know, I was gonna, he was trying to get up. I was trying to do sweep. I tried to do sweep, and nothing happened. Nothing came out. There was like three times that it happened. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was just frozen. I was like, what? Serious? But, you know, I feel like I could have won at the same time. Like, yeah, yeah, I am salty. I ain't gonna be back. I ain't gonna be lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, there's there's some things that you could have did, like for instance, where he got his like heavy pounces. You can just tech neutral. You don't have to tech roll and worry about tech rolling. You That's know? true. And I always, you know, just, I was yeah. like autopilot with my wake ups too, and he was blowing it up. Kept doing. You wake -ups love, here. you love punch elbow, punch elbow, and he was blowing you up by watching you after elbow because he knew you were gonna poke with three PK. Yeah. So you know, goes he back into that KP situation. A times of, too. Well, actually, yeah, a bunch might, of times. Yeah. See, I think the, I think like yeah, it's like there's certain wrong, certain things wrong with my style that people just blow up. Like KO blew it up, and then like Jacko blew it up even more. It made more sense because what it was because you know he was playing the same character. But I don't know. It's like times where I just go yellow. It's like I don't even think I just guess. I guess, and I get so blown up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. But I gotta give him props because he did see he, he did adjust because I was winning by oh, yeah. margin oh, and yeah. he came all the way back. So he saw your uh, mid risings in certain situations where he just backstepped and then he just did 9k punishment. You know, uh, other situations where he was just like playing around with different type of stuff to see what you would react to. He'd go into flamingo and start doing circulars, trying to be active all the time, or double foot sweeps or triple foot sweeps to kind of condition you for low, which is one of Sarah's. You know base of supports you know i told you a long time ago foot sweep and then p plus k stagger you know for crouchers yeah so yeah very very strong at the same time it's like 
it's times like these when you gotta keep your opponent honest, you know. Uh -huh, they try to uh -huh. try stuff out and it's not frame tight. And if you let them do it, you know, they can get that much more powerful. But if not, you know, that's at the end of the day, that's a risk on their part. Yeah. They're trying to true. see if they can get away with it. And there was times where I didn't let them get away with it, and there's other times where I did. So it's like I gotta look in my mind and just see, you know, should I keep my, my stuff frame tight like the whole time or what? But yeah, Jacko, yeah, you need to go on Skype, Jacko. What do you, what did you think of the, the <laughs> match? I see KO cheerleading. NYC cheerleading. Yeah, the majority of stuff, you know, you know, the majority of stuff just comes down to how well do you know your character, you know, and this is kind of a testament to it right tonight, you know, you kind of look back on it in the videos and go, okay, you know, Dragon Smash Cannon, did I punish it properly? Could I get the best of the best damage out of the situation? You know, will I do that consistently 100% of the time? Just just start with your launchers. Start with your, you know, foot sweeps. Things that, you know, that, that do that, that get you that damage. You know, that you can force people out in those situations. Yeah. That might, yeah. That's true. So, hey, Jacko, if you're on, like, send me a message. Or uh, send me a uh, contact request. It's Blackstar2478, because I can't add you to the call right now. You should have stayed in the group. Why'd you quit the group? Anyway, he was in serious, was what, in serious what mode. Saying? Oh, well, it looks like Jekko took the uh, Mrs. Kitty's uh, uh, brothel tonight for all the white women. You know, so, uh, I do, you know, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I gotta hold it. I gotta hold it. But, I gotta say, a good 70% of it was my fault. So, you know, it's still, if I had tightened up my game, well, I'll, I'll say that. Win. The, the matches are a little bit different than I watched when you guys were playing with KO. You were a little more aggressive this time, and I don't know if it's just because of the yellow knees and you know that type of stuff, or the damage ratio versus Jeffrey, that you're more comfortable playing versus Sarah, you know, and you know it's available. Well, honestly, that's how she's supposed to be played, from my experience. Yeah. It's like, yeah. she has no defensive options. I keep telling everybody. It's like... Folks talking about Sarah's cheap, she can do this, this, and that. No, she's not. She has no defense. If she blocks, she's in trouble. She has to deal with everything with fundamentals. She has no Sabaki, no defensive Sabaki, you know, no Inashi, no none of that. You know, she don't, her, uh, her tech chomps is risky. Her tech crouch works only on plus. You know, it's like, if you have to block, you have to block. You have to block everything. So uh -huh. you have to know the other character as well. You have to she's know a, not only the other character, you have to know the other player's play style. You have to adjust all that on the fly. Yeah. It's not easy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, you know, so in other words, the less you block, the better. So, you know, True. you know, me, I, she... put, I put myself in situations where I just wait and see what you're doing. That's like the worst thing to do ever. It's not like John to where, you know, oh, I think you're going to do like a, a, you know, a mid punch or something like that. I'll just lock it and take like 60 points or something. No, I ain't, no. Like, I have to take my plus five, I have to put you in a knee talk against, so on and so forth, so. What is her uh, specialty? Does she have a lot more crunches? What's her specialty? Yeah, so if she does no defensive option, obviously, you know, they had to program something in for her to get away with that. You know, it couldn't just go back to the basics of, like, fundamentals as opposed to what everybody else has with these abusable sabaki and that nature to fall back on. Her but, you know, is, is mix-ups. All about well, not, not, I'm not talking offense, like defense. So if, if it's not a Sabaki that you have, is it a crush move that works? The, the crush that she, it, the only thing that she has defensively are, are crushes. Okay. It's, uh, 2P, the universe is low crush. Mm -hmm. It's uh, 3PK, which is a... No, 2P is a universe high, high crush. Yeah. 3PK mm -hmm. is a high crush, but it only works on plus. Okay. So... Counter hit, yeah. And at the same time, you have like her tech jumps, eight eight P plus K or eight K plus G, and then uh, that that's works the one that I think that you, that needs to be abused a lot if you play against players. Like when you're positive and someone goes for a low punch, that eight K creates that stagger, and if they don't shake out of it, that's a free combo. Yeah, but eight K only works for plus if you want a low crash. Well, you know, hey. If so you're in the middle like, of a battle like that, where things are flying, you gotta watch, you know, it's a simple hop kick. You know? That's what I'm saying, it's like you can't just throw that out all the time. If you, if you, uh, if, okay, let's say I do P8K. If they don't know what's coming, you know, hey, if they block it, that's great. If they get hit, that's best case scenario. If they, uh, if they sidestep, you know, I'm vulnerable, it could launch that potentially. And then yeah. I'm stuck in Flamingo, I can't block. Well, can't you just go straight into uh, down KG and get hit from like crouching phase, so it's not as high? You can screw with them. 
Oh, even know. if you meant to take that hit. Is he coming on? He's on right now. Wow. What's this face? Yo, okay, let me get a screenshot of this. Oh my goodness. What is with this picture? But yeah, Tim, Tim Sensei, you got any questions for Champ? Yo, Jacko, how you doing tonight, buddy? Hey, what's up, man? I don't know. How, how are you feeling throughout the match? I, I noticed that you were down a little bit in the beginning, and uh, you kind of reserved thought a little bit, maybe like doing some downloading while you're just kind of doing basic stuff. And then as the uh, the matches progressed, I saw you try to adapt a little bit and open up the book, and you know, you, you saw the Webster Dictionary, you, you looked at it, you know the word, you passed your spelling bee, and give us some of your thoughts on, you know, how you, uh, where, where, where did it change with the uh, adaption? Well, let's see. Well, first off, when I was down, it was really just me taking... I was actually eating some snacks while I was playing, so... Every time, I, every, wow. every time I lost the game, I just ate, and I was, like, thinking, like, all right, what am I doing? <laughs> so you put the picture. Anyway, um, yeah, what I was thinking, I was like, okay, he's constantly blowing me up with Flamingo. I said, so now I had to find ways to actually blow up his, when he goes into Flamingo, so I was figured it would either be, you know, full circulars or a launcher or 2P, but I never wanted to go for 2P because I know that she gets Sabaki 2Ps, but he never Sabaki yeah. really. I found yeah. myself doing that, but I ended up dropping the ball at times because it's one of those, like, you don't expect it to land moments, but it does, and then you just react, you don't react fast enough. Yeah, exactly. So it was a little, like, nerve wracking at times when I would land it, like, three different times, and I was like, fuck, I said, I missed it. But, you know, that's how it is with online. It's like, you don't react, you don't get to react fast enough. And uh, one, oh, one thing I, oh, go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 go, go ahead, finish up, sorry. Um, <laughs> and, and then towards the end, I noticed we both started getting kind of cheap. Cause I, I, mm -hmm. I guess we both realized that we couldn't <laughs> block a 3kg on, a <laughs> on reaction. So it was really just a, a testament of just getting that knockdown and just trying to, trying to you know, get the mix up game going. Which ended up happening. I think Blackstar just hesitated a little bit. And, then, and that's one thing against me you never want to do is hesitate. You always want to go for the kill. Yeah, that is my problem. <laughs> and yeah, I hesitate a whole lot more. You kept hitting with 3k and like some other, like, it was like 1k, 2k, and it was just like random stuff. But it would work. It'd be just like if you're a different stuff. Just translate with Sarah. And that's like what I want to incorporate because it works. Yeah, yeah. Especially if I get you near the wall. Every almost every one of my comebacks from rounds or matches even tended to be when I get you near the wall, I would just follow up with the splat and uh, or the bound and just you know get my extra the jacko damage as everyone calls it. So you already know. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, man. But yeah, you Sarah. Yeah, she came up a lot, man. I used to watch NYC uh, via on Twitch. <laughs> I see the stairs. I see a stair on there. She's throwing some some random stuff, and folks get hit by it. I'm like, I was just face palm, like really. But ever since <laughs> then, it's like now it's like, well, you tighten up. Like, well, that was probably back before Wonder Bowl. Like one of the things that uh, I guess I, I, I give my due props to was when I was um at Wonder Bowl, right? And I, you know, Rod, Denkai, Sheffy, that like, all the guys were like. You know, you have really good, like, setups. You have really good, like, instincts and shit. But, you know, you just got to work on the fundamentals. And I was like, you know what? That's absolutely true. Because I played Jehoseph at Winter Ball. And he fucking destroyed me. With, like, blew my Jeff up. He just, just knew, like, you know, what I was going for. And I was always going for big shit. And I was watching Chef Boy play him. And Chef Boy pretty much, like, destroyed him with Jeff. But he didn't, like, go for the, you know, the shit that I'd go for. He just went for, for basics and stuff and just, you know, outplayed him. And I was like... I said, I do have to work on my fundamentals. I said, because, you know, I used to have really good fundamentals when I played VF4, but then, like, kind of, when I was playing FS, getting into it, I was kind of like, you know, this is kind of like Tekken. I was like, I don't really, you know. But then I kind of just killed that thought. I was like, okay, it has Tekken nice stuff, but at its core, it's still VF. So there's still, you know, you still got to have your, your good basics down to be able to really compete. So I just started working on that, started, you know, finding out pokes and studying frames. I... I hate math, but I'm good at it, unfortunately. So I had to, you know, <laughs> look at the look at the math, math mathematics at it. Cause I figured I already had the. I always say the frame stuff should always come like second. You should always build Yomi and instincts first, and then once you feel like you get that down pat, then the icing on the cake will be okay. Study your frames, know you know your advantages and disadvantages and such. 
you know, it's still a guessing game, but you know, at least when you know when you have the right situation to apply something, you know, you do good. Cool. Well, well said. <laughs> yeah, I ain't new to this. I'm not new to this. <laughs> But uh, in terms of, um, yeah, with Sarah, though, yeah, definitely that, too, because I was always trying to be flashy. And, I, and I'm the type of person that I, I really, like, rely on instinct. So I just do what works. So if I find somebody's not blocking something every time I do it, until they force me to, to not do it anymore, I'm going to keep doing it, you know? So you got to go all in. It's all in or nothing, pretty much. Final yeah, Showdown. yeah. You got to bear those fangs, man. Because in this game, you can't think about Final Showdown. You can't really sleep on anybody because the way this game is it, it you can get random out you really can like you'll the better player will always win but you know that i guess you could say scrub but just the person that just doesn't really know any better will get some rounds or matches off you because you know the way the way they play and it's like hmm, all right i gotta sit down and watch what he's doing wrong and you know you can tell when people don't know the frames it's like okay he definitely doesn't know the frame so you know you start taking advantage of that and that's when you start like you know scraping them man, that's what's up man all right you got any advice for the loser as far as <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> nah man i mean i can't even really you know i i i, I gotta kill I, I won't shit talk only because it was very close i mean the only thing i can say was you know you should have never let me come back <laughs> but nah i should no. It, but you should have <laughs> just you should have went with you. Cause I, I I I feel like with you you have to you have to follow your gut. I think the problem with you and I sometimes suffer this from uh, from myself is you you second guess yourself. So there are situations where you feel like you should have done something and you like nah and then you you regret it. You're like man I should have did it. I could tell. I, I don't know if you can conf if you could verify that or not. But there oh, were a lot you're of times. Exactly right. <laughs> like, I, I noticed a lot of the time, and it, was, it happened to me too. There's something I'm really trying to kill, but I, I get better at killing killing it as, as, you know, matches progress. But I noticed that with you, like, it seems to be like a very, like, heavy, uh, I guess you could say, uh, disadvantage. It's like you, you you play well. You know, you've got your fundamentals good, and you know you know the character. So that's why I wanted to do the mirror, because I was like, this is going to be tough. Because I know he knows, you know, the sour like the back of his hand. But the thing is, you know, a lot of the times when you were doing stuff, I could tell you hesitated or you just didn't follow through or you did something different. And I'm like, I know he probably wanted to do something else, but he second guessed himself. And I kind of use that to my advantage. Yep. Makes sense. Because yeah, that's, that's pretty much what I lose all the time. with Because uh, KL did it to me. Mm -hmm. uh, he did it to me. Uh, Shiny takes advantage of me all the time. You know, and then like, who else? Like, even like True Eyes. And you know, True Wise gonna come with the, the yellow, the yellow knee, the random knee. Yeah, oh yeah. Take advantage <laughs> of, of hesitation. It's like I think too much for my own good. So that's probably yeah, that that it, 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 well, it, see that that that's something that you can get away with in in, in you know past BFs, even Vanilla Five, but <clears throat> in FS, nah, not too much. You you can you can think, but you really have to react on it on instinct. Because, you know, like I said, if you second guess yourself, you've given your opponent the chance to make comebacks like I did, and you're, you're, you're kicking yourself, you're kicking yourself, you're like, frick, man, I should have just did that, I knew I should have did that, and I probably, I could tell you probably were having a lot of those moments, too. Oh, man, you, you have no idea. Like, like a <laughs> pixel level, bro. I look, I, like, when you look at the archives, you're going to want to shoot your foot and be like, man, I should have just did that when I when I thought it. Because a lot of times it's a pixel of health and just boom, and it's like, fuck. I might delete these archives. <laughs> never happened. We talk. No, about no, no, no. Like, just yeah. I don't think he would do that. You nah, can, I ain't gonna do that. We could definitely both look at it, and 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 it'll make us better. I, I definitely. And then, and honestly, too, I got tired of the raw blowouts, man. I got tired of watching Tano's the the even pit club. I call it the the Tano club. Yeah. Sorry, uh, you're part of that. <laughs> You know, I got tired of watching that. Nah, the and mirrors were always getting blown up, and that's why I was just like, you know, let's make it interesting because, yeah. you know, Tricky knows Eileen like he he, he is the Eileen. I, I gotta I gotta go on record and say that he is the Eileen to beat. So when even Pit called him, uh, I was like, this is gonna <laughs> this, this is this is gonna be a execution service. This is not gonna be a first attempt. This is. This is gonna be a green mile where you put the wet sponge on top of someone's head and you know the electricity and the electric chair just goes straight to the head. That's exactly what happened to Even Pit. Shocker? <laughs> shocker. Oh that too. That great <laughs> shocker. Oh, oh, shout out to yeah, Horace Painter. That was, that was 
You uh, you guys, you guys touch on a pretty good point. I think that you know when you look at it, you have there's a lot of fear that goes on through a player's mind when something doesn't go the way that they expect. Yeah. You always got to have that escape route, you know. So yeah. to me, final showdown now comes down to a situation: is do you know your OTGs? Do you know how to condition with your meaties, like on every knockdown? And it yeah. comes down to those situations where. If you get all your meaties and they're like minus one to minus three, what are they going to do to you? You you basically lock down tech roll, and now all they can do is do a stationary rising attack. You block mid, you get in plus six. If they hit you low, it's plus three. Whoop de doo. Simple little fuzzy guard, and it's it's done. That's one part of the game that is just done, and that helps you open up so many tools. All the other stuff just comes from like you know experience of like you know minor counter hit bonus for block and punishment properly. For, for max mm -hmm. damage, mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, the way I see like the, the pro players playing, that's what they do. They wait for it, they see it, they follow up, and guess what? Two of those max damage combos locked together in a meaty, <laughs> done deal. You lose, you lose your faith, and you freeze, and then this guard breaks game over. You know, it's, <laughs> it's a crazy game. No, that's that's one thing I do. I give um Flystar due credit for is that he um. Definitely good at waiting with Flamingo. I, 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 you know, it's a risk, but at the same time, it, it's a calculated risk because, you know, you go into Flamingo, you wait to see what I do. If I sidestep, you know, then you just get failed evade and on me my part and you do whatever you want, pretty much. Or if I'm just standing block, low, you know, like you just, you gotta, you know, you gotta react. So that's one thing you're really good at is reacting with, uh, like I call it naked Flamingo. You just go into like Flamingo cancel, you just stand in there in Flamingo, wait what I do, and then bam. Man. You're getting some damage <laughs> off that, man. You're getting some really exactly. good damage. Exactly. It, it's <laughs> just like that in the media was, was like key part of our game. But like, and I was getting the media at first. was why I was taking the lead. Like after the first game, mm -hmm. it was just like I would get the media and I would just take away, you know, round after round. But mm -hmm. I guess I guess you had saw that and you know, just because mm -hmm. I was switching up in between. Like, okay, he's gonna do wake up kick. Okay, he's just gonna do side kick. But you, you know, you got tired of hit, getting hit by that. You know what? Yeah. Like, you know what? I'm gonna lay down. And it yeah, was like I, yeah. that's part of when I kept second guessing myself. Like he's gonna lay down this time, but he's gonna get up next time. Yeah. And, you know, he just stayed right there. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. Why yeah. do you say? And, and you can tell that I made the great adjustment because notice how a lot of the times when I anticipated that you were gonna lie down, I always got free stomp, free kicks, oh, yeah, or free yeah. just, you know, a pee. And it was like. <laughs> I was always laughing because I was like, yeah, I got him. I said, For nah, real? I, and then I got <laughs> insulted by that. I'm like, really? You hit me this twice in a row and begin it around? And then, like, <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm going to do it back. Got up, tech, punished with, like, 1K, I think it was. It was like, but yeah, that was that was real smart. That was real smart. Like, you read me like a book, then. <laughs> and the uh, first of tens are very, especially mirrors. First of ten mirrors are very challenging for the most part because you... You tend to go into a comfort zone. Like that's yeah. that's one of the things about comebacks. A lot of people like don't really acknowledge is that, you know, yeah, your opponent is, is getting a lead, playing solid and stuff. But then, you know, a good portion of the time he'll he'll start getting into a comfort zone where he'll start getting repetitive, and then you're it's up it's up to your opponent to adjust. So a lot of the time when people make ten O's and ten twos or whatever the scores be, it tends to be from the opponent's lack of ability to adjust. So they don't get to make that adjustment. You, you just, you know, it's free for the most part, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think and I got and really mirrors too. What's up? I think I got real comfortable, and that's that's why I kept doing the meetings and doing it wrong. Yeah. I I'm like, yeah, I got hit by this about twelve times. I keep doing it another twenty. So I got punished twenty times. So. Yeah, exactly. I was getting a little hot headed. That's 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 one of my issues. That when I get hit by shit like the same time, I just start getting hot headed. But I really, you know, you calm down and just watch what he's doing and then that's when i started doing that and then started making the adjustment yeah so watch adjust react that's what you got to do yeah i need to improve on that but, yeah, but other than that man nah you you you're solid man you you good and you just like i said just don't second guess yourself when you when your instincts you there's always like an 80 percent instinct ratio which i consider to be like you know you your instinct tell you to do something just do it Cause you, we, we really want to like punch yourself in the face if you the second guess yourself, and that could have been the you know round winner, game winner, etc. You know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And then like you second, second guess yourself and get counter hit, whole momentum change, and then like Sarah's scary. She's scary to fight. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
is. Come on. I think when you fight against a Sarah that knows what they're doing, like, yeah, it's 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 like, yo, you start really, it's all guessing. It's really like, yo, what, what's she gonna do off this? What's she gonna do next? What's the Oki? Like, ugh. It's fun. It's frustratingly fun. Like, yeah. you get, Rrr, but then you have fun with it because it's like, you know, and like I said, this wasn't a, it wasn't a blowout. It was a very close set. So, you know, it's something that people can look in the archives and be like, yo, this was good. This is better than the last couple of frauds that just people oh, were just getting boy, wrecked. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and yeah. I told you, man, I said, oh, let's put on the show. Well, fuck it. And I was like, and I knew how it was going to turn out. I knew I was, I was going to go for it, but I knew it wasn't going to be like scrape. I just knew that for a fact. Yeah. I got way more respect for you than that. Yeah. And then like, I knew you've been practicing your Sarah, so it was like, you know, before I was like, oh man, two, 10 to me, but I knew better this time. But <laughs> like, I know you've been practicing Sarah for like months now. And then like, I think I saw you play recently. I see you just get her stuff down. It was like, oh, I got to take this to the series. You know, I can't, I can't just mess around. So I came with my A game. But uh, yeah, he exposed my weaknesses too. So, you know, I got to give props to anybody can do that. You know, because you're definitely not playing mindless VFN. You're, just, you're actually paying attention. You know? so really yeah, of play. course. Yeah, props to that. Thank you. All right, Tim, Sensei, any any last words? Oh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll talk to you later. When, 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 when the <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get the tongue lashing. I'll give you a recommendation. You know, some of, the, some, of the, some of the stuff, I think when you go into your, your sympathetic nervous system mode, you know, a couple things to look out for is always doing rising attacks, because Jacko really improvised on that. He saw that you are going to do a mid-rising, and he just backdashed and waited for the 9k all day. Yeah. Uh, you get into, yeah. like, uh, <laughs> you, get into, you get into plus two elbow, plus two elbow, plus two elbow, and then plus two, and then he waited a couple times, he got three PK, so he got the counter hit in there, and then turned into Nitaku. Uh, in that situation where he took total advantage of. And I think that's your stalling point right there is where you get into like P elbow. You're waiting on your opponent. You're not like sticking your fangs in the back of their like, you know, uh, spine and, and just ripping, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, uh, you know, that just has to come in time, I think. You know, this is this is like the transition between old VF to new VF. You know, we wait for that counter hit punch throw. And it's always going to be in our muscle memory. You know, it's just something like that. That's what VF was. But now, if this is the road that they're taking, you're going to have to, you know, beef up and go through your whole list in OTG and Medes and just keep that, that freaking carnival going, you know? It's, yeah. it's unfortunate. Already. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but that's what this game has turned to to sell, sell tickets. Oh. So. <laughs> uh, well, by the way, one of the matches that uh, that I actually lost, and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make an excuse. Tony sent me a freaking invite to play, and that that joint like ultra distracted me, and I got pissed off. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember what. I think, I think I think you you said you won too. I was, yeah. I was uh, man. I don't even think he knew. That's why I was just laughing. I was just like, yo, this guy has no idea. And I think he sent it like right at a crucial moment, and it's like, Bloop! and I was like, oh man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he did that to me too. I think he did a couple of times with some other raws too. To be honest. <laughs> I guess I'm used to it. Uh, that's how, and also, I wanted to say too, like you know, I love you, no homo, because like I gave up watching the freaking Dallas Cowboys game to play it first. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and they won. They won anyway. They won anyways. So I, I, you know, I ain't mad. But at the same time, I was, you know, they were up, but it was barely. And I was okay. like, okay, okay. So you a Cowboys fan, right? Yeah. Okay. I so when I actually did watch football, that's who I watched all the time. Cowboys, even though I'm close yeah. to Atlanta, I was my team. Oh yeah, back in the day, man. That was that was when they was in uh, the American team. Now they kind of flopping, but you know that's another thing. <laughs> yeah, let's not even talk about that. It's part yeah, of no, I don't. Yeah, no, I just wanted to just run that by you because I was like, yo, you know, a, a guy got got it for you. Yeah, got, <laughs> VF, yeah it got it for you and, and your VF ability to give up football to play VF with you. <laughs> Has it yeah, been anybody man. else that was like garbage or would have been free? I'd have been like, yo, we could do this another night. <laughs> Exactly, man. Yeah, much appreciated. Much appreciated, man. Like, glad you came out, man. Show me what's up. And I'm going to hit the dojo some more, come even stronger, gain that power level and all that. So, yeah, it's like, this actually helped me a lot. This makes me see a lot more of my flaws that I didn't want to look at before. So, yeah. With your own character, I think that that's the, the, the best part about it is, you know, is with this uh, character you, you know, you, you love. It's a white woman, you know? What, what can you say? Yeah, the white lady. You know, it's like a psychological thing. I was like, all right, you know. Uh, I, I second guess myself 
again with my main against my someone who plays my main. So then you start really like, all right, I'm really gonna lap it up now. Like I ain't letting this shit happen again. Exactly. Go <laughs> with the punches. Go with the flow and all that. You know, so it is what it is. But I guess I'll get ready to start wrapping it up, man. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's uh, oh, O2 Black Star and his raw record and one one jackal for his. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, O2, I'm gonna get my one one time. I gotta figure oh. out who, who's gonna be the victim. So Let I might me run this back later on. In the I, I got a uh, one more announcement. So before you wrap it up. Oh but, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. But uh, the, the people you know currently watching now, we'll be definitely talking about it on Tuesday. But uh, yeah, Saturday, November 30th, right? Doing uh, you know, we do like a once a month of. Uh, VF meetup, you know, so the weekend warriors, the people who, you know, can't make it out on Tuesdays for obvious reasons can show up and play. So, you know, if you're like in, uh, you know, PA, Jersey, whatever, anywhere near New York, if you want to like come out and play with us, you know, come through. It's going to be the gauntlet of New York, as we call it, where Tricky is going to go one on one, first to 10, three consecutive first to 10s. He's got to go one on one with me in what I call uh, the Caribbean strap match or Caribbean food match. Which basically, you know, the loser is the by the winner, you know, free Caribbean food, pretty much full course Caribbean meal. So, you know, I'll be eating that jerk chicken soon. Then after after our set, he's going to have to face off against, um, I think it's Rod. Yeah, Rodney's next. Rodney's going to be his next opponent. Rod's got Rod's to knock that ego down and peg it too. And then last but not least, it's definitely going to be Denkai. So, you know, he's going to take 15 minute breaks in between each set. So that should definitely be something, you know, to watch out for because, you know, we're going to have like a, a big group. BG Akira should be there. You know, I actually pretty much made the date for him to come through because, you know, he, he never could make it to the other Tuesdays or the Saturdays that I listed. So I, I really wanted him to come out and play some offline, you know, offline VF Superior Tech. So, you know, send him out invites, letting everybody know what we're doing. So if you want to come through, you know, just hit us up on uh, either Facebook or, you know, the BFDC or the, I don't even know if they have the New York thread functioning anymore, but and I'll mention it again on Tuesday stream. So, hey man, you know, believe me, I'm gonna be looking out for that. I'm gonna have my uh, my snacks ready and my PJs on, just be watching, <laughs> you know, and playing some Blaze Blue at the same time, probably. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna be in there. So you know, be sure anybody watching, you know, come check it out. It's gonna be on the NYC VF stream, right? Oh, yeah, Kamaya's also blew one more thing. I, I don't know if they're doing a first to ten, but everyone keeps talking about it. Tricky and Libertine. Like, everybody just wants Tricky, man. It's like, this, everybody <laughs> just wants to like, rip off his head. So, hey, I mean, yo, what, is, what is with Tricky today? I mean, or this week or whatever. What's, what's going up? On? What do you mean? Oh, in terms of what? what oh. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, like, he's been up and coming, you know. He, 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 I'm, I'm just speaking for him now because I know he's not around, but... You know, he's up and coming, of course. He's definitely shown he's got the skills. You know, I can't can't deny that. And, you know, he, he I'm not going to say he's the man to beat, but he is a person to beat, you know. So he's gotten a little, I guess you could say, I don't say big-headed, but I guess he's feel, kind of feeling himself because he's beat, been kind of beating around Rodney and I guess Denkai. I don't know. I can't say it for Denkai. But I guess one of the two that he's kind of beating up on Rod, and Rod was kind of like in rust mode. So, you know, Rod, Rod want him to run the gauntlet. Uh, and I, of course, uh, as everyone probably, if they keep it, yeah, exactly. Tricky kind of feels. <laughs> uh, okay. He is. Okay. He is. He is. He's a good player. No, don't get me wrong. I'm not taking anything away from the dude. That's my that's my homie. But at the same time, you know, he has been kind of feeling himself. So it's up to up to us to knock him down a few pegs. And I know everyone's probably looking at him beat uh, beating me, and then Denkai Rodney right going to beat him. But nah, fuck that. It's going to go zero and three in the gauntlet. <laughs> he's on zero and three. He is not beating me. I can't. He beat me once. He beat me in the last first attempt, which probably people probably forgot. Just back in like I guess January, or whatever this year. But yeah, you know we run it. That was that was ten six. I'm gonna put my own shit out there. So this time I'm gonna beat his ass so bad. Like his hit box is gonna become a, a hit tissue box. <laughs> he's gonna be crying, crying tears <laughs> of salt. All on the hit box. Got him hit Kleenex and, and and then exactly hit Kleenex, his hit tissue box, and then Dan kind of right is gonna just 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 finish him off. He's gonna be done. Okay, so it's gonna be like that scene in It Man too, where you know It Man he had to fight all the masters in like a little diner room in order to be on top of the table, mm -hmm. you know, all in a row just to be able to get initiated and be respected and all that. So. 
Yeah. I mean, I, I got my own personal score to settle with him, but at the same time, you know, Denkai and Rod just, just got to knock his ego down. They feel like he's not ready. Me, personally, I, like I said, I just got to beat him for myself, but they feel like he's not ready, so they're going to do this gauntlet challenge just to see if he can really, like, stick stick with it. Because, you know, if he if, if he does beat me, then that's just, his confidence level is going to be high. He's going to be like, oh, wait, I got one down, I got two more to go. But if he loses to me, that's going to be an ego killer. And then, you know, that's that's just going to fuck up his men mental game against Denkai and Rod. So, oh, yeah, that's, that's, set that's, 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 yeah that, that, that's what I'm, I'm, I'm going to attempt to do. He's good at adapting, too. So it's not, you know, it's not going to be easy. But I'm ah, fuck it. Yeah, it's going to be easy. I'm going to beat his ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, OK, that's what's up, man. But actually, to be honest, hearing this was like I was already hyped to see it. But now it's like I kind of really want to see like how tricky does because he has been getting like a lot better oh but yeah he's yeah time, he's, yeah yeah but he's not quite, i don't personally feel like he's up there yet but you know like i said this is this this little gauntlet will definitely show that because he'll be beating like two of the best players in new york and in the, in the country two of the best so yeah, you know yeah. if he does that i just hope like you know if rod plays i you know, hope he doesn't play kage he'll hope he plays akira but you know, maybe he's been lapping it up with Kage on a little. We'll see. And then Kai, he's got two characters to choose from. Because one character only. There's character lock, one character. Okay, so no, no switch if I, Nah, I wanted to at first because I wanted to make it interesting. But then at the same time, he was like, no, just make it one character lock. So I was like, all right, fine. I said, so I'll rock it out with Jeff. Yeah, no, it does. It does. It does. I was going to say this old stipulation was going to be... Um, you know, you get to pick two characters, but once you switch your character, you stay with that character for good. So if you feel like, so say for example, I just felt like Jeff couldn't get the job done, then I switched to Sarah. I got to stick with Sarah. So if I was getting my ass beat with Sarah, then you know that that's it. <laughs> okay. Same thing so for like Dan Kai. No, yeah, that was the original thing, but he wasn't even for that. He wanted to just stick it. He was like, you know, stick it with just one character. So I was like, that's fine. I'm cool with that. Makes sense because you got three. You know, three, one first ten is, is is rough enough. You got three in a row, and then you know, got three Switching it up. And all in a row, and each other behind each other. It's like crazy, man. It's hard. I, I don't even consider my to be honest with you. Since we're on the subject, a lot of people like the thing I noticed. Um, it's like, you know, when people think of like top New York players, they say Rod, Denkai, and Tricky. And I, and I do think I think it's, it's Denkai, Rod, Tricky in that order, and and then like. I think I'm in a tier of my own. Yeah, you know, Cruz and all you guys, you guys wanna, you know, shut me up, challenge me first to 10 offline, and you know, maybe you can earn your spot. <laughs> it is. It but, is. Uh, you okay. know, I consider okay. myself right in the middle. So there's those three, and then, uh, and I'm talking about active SF, uh, not SF, wow, <laughs> VF players, uh, FS players, <laughs> <laughs> FS players. So, you know, Sid Kid and, and like, and, uh, Who's, who's who else? Oh, SDS too, especially because they're not really active. They play and they're really good, but they're not active FS players. So that's why I don't really like consider them in that tier. If they, if they were active, they definitely would be up there, no doubt. But you know, in terms of people who you constantly see on streams and tourneys and stuff, like yeah, definitely it's it's you know Denkai Rod Tricky, okay. and then me in the middle of like it's like right after those three, and then everyone else is beneath me. <laughs> All right, best Jeffrey in the U.S. Go. Best Jeffrey in the U.S. Yeah, hmm. Now, me. There you go. Okay, there it is. <laughs> me. And the reason why I say that, well, the only the only other Jeffrey that I can really give props to is uh, Sheffy. Sheffy, Jeff Sheffy is a very uh, tough Jeff because he, like I said, he's very fundamentally sound. So he he just goes for the right shit. But at the same time, I feel like. He, I see him drop combos. I really do. Like I see him drop some wall combos that you know for a fact that if it was me, you would see the red bar. Like that's pretty much it. You get a, I get a wall splat. You see red or you die. You know. So that's one thing that I would have to say that that you know he would probably work on is just the, the combo. Other than that, pff, great Jeff. Like definitely like best comp. But um, all the other Jeffs though, it's like they don't just. It's like you gotta have Yomi. He's a very Yomi based character. You can't play. You can't play like too safe versus him. You gotta really just like know when to do stuff, like like the right. I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain. It's just, I see people pick him up and then like, oh, he, I can't play Jeff and blah 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 blah. He's not a pick up and play character. People, you know, there was a, a discussion we had with um actually it was actually on the stream when I got Smurf upset when he raged because I was trolling Cruz and told him Cruz sucks and stuff. And of course, all that's just me being a, a douche to, to you know for for heat. 
But at the same time, you know, you're, you're telling me and, you know, that I got to like bow to Akira players and stuff. And I'm like, well, OK, well, you got to understand. Look at who I play. Akira, to be honest, he's a, a rough character, but he you can pick up and play him and, and, and garner wins just based off just his tools, just what he has, you know, just study his tools and when to do them. And, you know, you, you can definitely like dominate. But you can't do that with Jeff. I had to play him for a whole year to even get where I'm at. If I had dropped him, I, you know, I wouldn't be at the level with him that I'm at now. So it's like, you know, I can, I can and, and to be real, you know, I was like, okay, well, if you, you know, think you, your character is, is 10 times harder than mine or whatever, then let's switch it up. Let's do a first attempt where you play Jeff and I play Akira. And then, you know, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll see where the results lie. I said, I guarantee I can learn your character in like a week tops and you can't learn mine in the same time. Yeah, because you know Jeff, Jeff is hard. Jeff is really hard to play. He's he's very he's not he's he's bad. Yes, I, I acknowledge this, and and I don't care what anybody says. He's a bad character. So if you're one of those like Jeffrey defenders that say no, you you get rid of Look, win tournaments with Jeff, produce results, then you can tell me that Jeff is a great character. No, Jeffrey is garbage. <laughs> but I make him work because of, of of me. No one can say it's the character. It's all me. It's all my mind games and my setups and my execution. I don't think he's like Vanilla Sarah tier at all. No, that's <laughs> so bad. Yeah, Vanilla Sarah was pretty stupid. Like anybody can win, but at the same time, you have to, like I said, you you can say you can be a scrub buster and be like, "Oh, this character is great. Jeffrey's great." Like, nah, you just scrub busting. When you can consistently beat top players and 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 win tournaments, like I won't even say place really, because I've been placing like all the local yokel tournaments, tournaments we've had in New York or like the Stick Bugs or even Wonder Brawl top eight and all that. But at the same time, like I don't look at that as as like like you know something to brag about. Like I'll I'll acknowledge the accomplishments and people will say yo good shit and I'll you know I'll tip you know thank you bow my head whatever. But at the same time, it's not anything that I'm really like shooting for. Like I want to shoot for number one. Yeah. So as if I'm number one with Jeff, then that's something to, to brag about. But, you know, that's just not going to be the case just because of how bad he is. He can get blown up really bad against somebody that knows what to do. <laughs> no. Really? No, really. Like, if someone really knows Jeff, like, like the back of their hand, all his options, especially the Japanese. Like, Japanese players, like, Fudo and shit, probably, like, laugh at people and, and be like, <laughs> you, pick, you pick a black man? Like, what? <laughs> okay. Is he like evadable? Is he punishable? Is he what is what is it? Well, it's 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 mostly evadable. Like pun punishable, like he's got pretty good stuff that you you know that, that won't necessarily get punished too bad, but it's really just it, the evasion. Like you can evade him in direction, but he just gets blown up really bad. You know, and you know, like and he has no really good lows. Like his lows are balls. Like, they got rid of all his kick lows, which are really good. They gave him one PP, which is all right, I guess, if you make it work. It, all his shit that you that he has now, you have to make it work. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. Low, yeah, it's yeah, low. yeah, yeah, exactly. And then well, his, his 2KG, which is the stomp, which is whatever, you know. Like, again, another thing you just got to make work. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, that's what's up. So let me go ahead and, like. Ready yeah, ready? yeah. You know, yeah, the Walking Dead about to come on, so I got to go catch that. This is up. Timmy in the background. Nah, he's he's right in the family. But yeah, like thanks everybody for coming out. Thanks Jacko for the beat down. Of course, man. Of course. Ten nine. Actually, it was real close. I can't even call it a beat down. Yeah, you can't even. Uh, it, was, it was it was a beating, but it wasn't a beat down. It was just you know you got beat, but it's nothing nothing yeah, to be nothing sure. nothing to be ashamed of at all. <laughs> well, I told him, I said, yo, I got to give my kudos to you for, for um, you know, the, the one match where it just like spiked to hell and it just really killed the momentum on both ends, I think. I know it killed my momentum. I couldn't take that. I'm like, I was thinking about it, that devil was on my shoulder, my left shoulder, and I was like, ah, just click the button, that's all you got to do. I, like, no, I can't do that. I was like, hey, hey, it, was just, like, it was just ridiculous. It was just that was like, bad. And mind you, that was the only time it did that. Throughout the entire set, it was it was just, you know, it was fine. It was, it was playable, okay. but, yeah. but that, fuck that. Yeah, yeah I couldn't. <laughs> nah, nah, I respect that. I respect that. That's what's up, man. Thanks for coming out, though. Thanks for Yeah, of course. Too. Yeah, of course, of course. All right, and then uh, catch Raw number eight. That'll be next Sunday, December 1st at probably 7 p.m. That's when you're gonna have that flash first to ten first to ten challenge. <laughs> oh god, flash is gonna beat the hell out of Gaston now. Yo, but what are you talking about, man? He's got he's five down already as we speak. He's already Three down five down. 
free yeah. Stanel. That's it. This is going to be free Stanel. Flash is going to style on him. It's going to be free Stanel. He has to win five matches. Oh, that's it. That's it. Oh, God. He's not going to do it. Trust me, man. He's not. <laughs> but, yeah, be sure to catch that next week. Next Sunday. <laughs> I'll be I'll be on there trolling that one, too. So, be on the lookout. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be funny if nothing else. So. <laughs> oh, yeah. It will. <laughs> well, yeah. Thanks, everybody, too. I see SDS in the house. Kamais in the house. Lifeless in the house. The Rock Reaper. Yeah, thanks, y'all. Yeah, I see everybody talking shit, talking about I'm getting blown up. Like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> That's, that's it, man. Thanks for, yeah. thanks for showing up, man. Catch y'all next week. All right. Peace out.